Pisces, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below along with my husband if you have not yet check him out he is over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels now pisces this is a really exciting time for you because the universe has some things lined up and you may, may already be experiencing new beginnings or new opportunities unfolding for you now this is the time more than ever where we're really going to second guess ourselves now initially when we do something new or try something new it feels really inspiring it feels really motivating we really feel like we're on a self-aligned path and that we're creating the life we want it feels really 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 exciting right the universe wants you to understand that this feeling okay so a lot of times we get so hooked on this feeling it becomes very addictive that when we don't when we no longer experience this feeling instead of putting our kind of detaching and kind of just leaving our energy open and kind of asking all right so where is it that my joy leads me right we try to kind of hold on to the joy and then try to refine it or you know like, well this once worked why isn't it working anymore it's like if you have like a really good like day of um, healthy day right you eat these good foods you go exercise you think if you do the exact same thing the next day it's going to get the same result it just doesn't right it just doesn't it's every day is is always in the moment energetically and that's why we always want to tune to our spirit so that we are able to be guided so that's why universe is saying just surrender to this game of life so that in every single moment you're going to be best you're going to be in the um frequency of attuning to your inspirations and your ideas and your downloads not trying to control what happens but being in the receival mode being in that receival mode is very important at this time because again, universe has something big planned for you. And again, you're gonna feel a little bit vulnerable because again, it's new, right? We feel excited at first, but after we do something for a while, it, it we um, our, the thoughts start creeping in. Am I doing it? You know, am I doing it well? Is this good enough? Am I gonna get the results I'm looking for? Is this gonna go the way I want it to, right? It's it's just it's 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 just what happens. So the universe wants to remind you that you always want to seek out your joy, being loyal to what you love, right? Because the joys of your heart and the passions of your heart. This is what you came to experience here on planet Earth. This is why you're here, is to experience. Remember, on the other side, you're just a consciousness. You have the concept of what things are. You're unable to experience them because we don't have a body and we don't have an emotional state. So that's why we're here. And that's why the universe wants to remind you, beautiful soul, are you living your life from the experience? Are you living through the experiences that you desire, right? Or are you focusing on the things in life that are maybe not feeling quite so so good. If you if your soul asked yourself right now, right? Let's say the higher part of you comes in and says, "All right, Pisces, are you living the life that you felt like you came here to live right now?" Right? Would you feel like that or do you think that maybe there are some situations or some memories from your past that are dictating what choices you make today? And this is where the disconnection comes in. And the universe wants to really remind you, right? You didn't come here to planet Earth to fight and to be angry and to hold on to resentment. Now, it's not that you didn't come here to not experience it. It's just the universe doesn't want you to hold on to that resentment or hold on to that pain because we, of course, we have to go through pain and feel resentment and feel anger and feel hesitation and vulnerability. We have to feel those things so that we know what joy and abundance and, 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 and alignment feels like. Right? We wouldn't know what that would feel like if we didn't go through that stuff. But the trick is to not stay there. You don't want to stay there. You want to be in the receival open mode. But it doesn't mean that we, we think we're bad or something's wrong when those energies, when those emotions do come forward. If anything, we're grateful for them. Wow, I'm experiencing this, tr this, this challenge in my life or this negative emotion. Interesting. What an experience. Hmm, something good is always going to come after this experience, right? There's always joy after pain. There's always a rainbow after the rain, you see? So at the end of the day, it's really, or there's sun after the rain, we should say. There's not always a rainbow, but there's always sunshine after the rain, right? We have to be open to this, right? Because again, there are always different um, paths we can direct our focus. And when we're too hyper-focused on the negative, we miss out completely on the bigger picture. And so the universe is saying, make sure that you give yourself that time to be in the receival mode, right? So meditate. 
stillness. Listen to yourself. This is really, really important at this time for you because we see here that there's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make, right? And this decision is going to, you know, it may confuse you a little bit. You may be like, which way do I go? What direction do I take? But if you're attuned and accustomed to prioritizing the joy in your heart and the desired feeling state you wish to feel, then it's going to be an easy decision for you. And guess what? Here we have the star and we have the tower. We have beautiful changes that are making their way into your life, Pisces. Beautiful new opportunities. Opportunities that, that unfold more countless opportunities, okay? And it's always about letting these opportunities come forward. But we see here with this page of wands in reverse that you may be holding on to this feeling like you should have been farther along or your desires should have already been here for you. All of this is just a monkey wrench in the energy, all right? It's just gonna, it's just going to block things off. Remain open, remain open. And again, it's much easier to be open when we remember that the reason why we are here is to experience joy, is to experience unconditional love in every situation. So if that was the case, then, then the priority wouldn't be on fighting or proving a point or being right. It would be about, all right, well, what is the what is the loving situation in this? How can I look at the situ situation with unconditional love? But that, that again, that doesn't mean sacrificing our own energy either. It just means having an awareness of what the importance is. And it's not to keep a fight going or hold on to resentment or not or unforgiveness, not forgiving. Does that make sense? Just don't stay there. It's it's really good to experience it because then we experience joy to its fullest. However, again, we don't want to stay in that place because again, our thoughts create our reality. Our beliefs create our reality. So we want you to dial in and really prioritize what your soul is asking of you because of course the soul comes forward with the desire first, right? Soul's desire. And then the mind, the mind's function is to choose the best choice for that desire. And then the body comes forward forward after to make that action a reality, right? And that's what it's about. So understand that there are new beginnings headed your way, very much soul inspired. So trust in this new opportunity, trust in these beginnings, and ultimately always know that your life is always going to be the easiest for you if you do exactly that. You choose the easiest path for you with the awareness of what is going to be best for you. So an example of this, because sometimes the mind and the body bec can become more active than the soul's desire. So just before I was entered this read, I'm just kind of healing through a cold right now. That's why my energy is a bit off. Uh, uh, totally fine, just a small cold. But before this read, my body wants fresh, you know, hydrating fruits, you know, watermelons, papayas, and such, just to flush this away. That's what my body says it wants. Now, my soul knows that if I consume uh, sweet fruits without any uh, thing to ground them, I will feel too ungrounded during the reads. And if I feel ungrounded in the reads, I'll be absorbing and pick up too much energy that I won't, it will just be too much. It's almost like flashing lights, if you will. It's kind of how it feels like. It's, it's just too hard to, to, to really register the energy I'm absorbing so, or picking up. So I knew that that's what my body desired because of this illness. However, my soul came through and said, a green smoothie is going to be what's going to ground you, right? And that's always my go-to initially is greens, blueberries, and walnuts. It works like a charm to really ground yourself, right? No sugars, low sugar, but simply just what's best, okay? And it's in every, and it, because I didn't want that, but I knew it was going to be what's best for me, that is a soul-inspired decision. So it's weeding out what the body's telling you and what the mind is saying, right? And it's really getting to the soul. And the more that we follow what the soul wants, we really tune into what the soul wants, right? Not not reacting in every moment. Oh, this is what it wants. Just tune into what it is that your soul is saying. Have a second, right? Take a second and pause. That way you're always going to know that you're making the right decision for you in that moment because it's a soul inspired choice. This is going to segue into your angel message here of creative project. So your angels are saying to you, your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. It's about creation. It's about understanding that honoring what we love and following, being attuned to what the joys of our heart are. This is how we expand. This is how we expand. This is how we grow, right? And so if we're not doing that, and if we're not aware of that, 
then we end up becoming very bored. We become distant with ourselves and with those around us. We want to, we want to hide away. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to better ourselves, right? We just want to, you know, we stay in that energy of, of low vibrations and then low vibrations create, you know, more, you know, a lack of, lack of abundance, lack of income, lack of happiness, lack of joy, right? And then we look around at our lives and think, well, we're just unlucky, but it, it's just not. It's just about really reconnecting to the soul, reconnecting to your heart and starting to live your life from a, a from a place of joy uh, and, and instead of a place of, I have to do this to make money. That is very boring. <laughs> that is not fun, right? That's not what we're here for. That's not what we came to experience is that feeling. Sure, the experience of it allows us to feel joy in those moments, but the, again, the name of the game is to not stay there, right? It's good to feel it, but don't stay there. Prioritize your higher energetic feeling state and just trust your abundance and all your manifestations will come. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.